Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new mini-series called Scratch Basics. In this series, I'm going to be going over the very basics of Scratch. I get a lot of questions about how to use Scratch and where to start, so that's why I want to make this series. I will go in depth on how to get to Scratch's website to begin coding, how to make an account, what things are called, where to put code in costumes, or even how to make code, costumes, and even sounds, along with many other things. So if you're a beginner or new to Scratch, this is the series series for you. And if you aren't a beginner, you can still watch because there may be something you missed when you started. But before we get into the episode, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing. And also drop a comment down below for more Scratch tutorial. Today, I will go over how to create an account and navigate the main website of Scratch. To get to Scratch, go to your browser of choice and type in scratch.mit.edu and click enter. And this will take you to Scratch's website. If you have an account click sign in and then put your username and password in if you don't have an account then click on join scratch and fill in all the necessary info such as your username your password and your password again but i'm not going to do that because i already have my account shift click learn a little side note here you can still use scratch without having an account but i highly recommend creating an account because you can't save your scratch projects on the website when you're not logged in you have an account now but you want to custom Customize it. Here's how. Click on your name and select profile. This is your main profile page for this Scratch account. And this is public, so anyone can see this. Here's your about section, so you can write anything you want. I wrote a little bit about me. And this is what I'm working on section. This is literally just like what you're working on. Up here is your user icon. To change it, hover over your icon and click change. This will pop up a file explorer and now just upload an image that you'd like. Remember Remember, to upload a picture as your icon, it must be in bitmap file format such as PNG or JPEG. It cannot be larger than 512 kilobytes and it cannot have a resolution of more than 500 by 500 pixels. Here are all of your shared projects. So as you can see, these are all of my projects that I've shared in the past. These are my favorite projects. That is when you click a star on a project. These are the people I'm following and these are my followers. Here are my comment section where people can comment comment on my profile and this button allows you to make it to where people cannot comment on your profile. Lastly, if you want to change any of your account info, click on your name and click account settings. This is where you can change your account details along with your password and email. Now that you have a scratch account all customized and ready to go, let's go over the front page, which is all of this. The scratch logo will tend to hang out in the top left corner and it is on most pages and it will lead you to the main page of Scratch. This first button is a shortcut to create a project. This second button is an explore button and this allows you to see some of the top games that people have shared. And to view a game, all you need to do is click on the thumbnail. This will load in the game. Over here is their write-up about it. This is the title, the comments down here. This is where you can love and star it. So that is what you saw on my profile earlier. Also, keep in mind that you can click on any blue text to go to that place. For instance, the person who commented, wow, amazing game named PandaWolf18, if I click on that, it goes to their profile page. Next, there is ideas, which are just some ideas that the Scratch team made. And lastly, about, which is all about Scratch. To the right is a tab called Scratch News. This is where you can see updates and tutorials and all sorts of things about Scratch. Moving down, we have some rows. The front page consists of 7 to 10 of these rows when logged in and 6 when logged out. The titles describe what they are for. For instance, this one are featured projects, which are special projects that the Scratch team pick to put on the front page. Featured studios. A studio is like a playlist of a bunch of different projects. These are projects curated by this person. These are some studios. These are projects loved by Scratchers that I'm following. This is the top re mixed games and this is the top loved games and at the very bottom of the page we have the footer the footer consists of many links to all sorts of different things there's also a button to change the language a side note here if you'd like to download scratch for your desktop click this download button it will take you to a page where you can download scratch choose your os and then click direct 
download. You can see that it's downloading the exe to set up Scratch. Another helpful link is the Scratch wiki under the community. This is what the Scratch wiki looks like. The Scratch wiki is super helpful for figuring out how to do something. For example, say I want to learn how to share a project. I can click on the search bar and type sharing and it pops up projects. I click on that and here is a whole article about how to share a project and some information about that. So we have basically went over everything here except Except the my stuff tab so let's go ahead and click on that the my stuff tab is where you can see all of your projects this is where you can sort them here is some more tags that you can near them so here are all my shared projects my unshared projects my studios and then my trash the trash contains all of your deleted projects the shortcut to get to my stuff is this folder icon right here then another button is the message which looks like a little letter so if I click on this these are all of my messages from people on my projects for instance this person favorited my project jumpy chicken and I can click on them to see their profile the very last interface is this interface right here to get here all you need to do is click on any project so I'll click on scratch basics and here you can name it what you want you can make some instructions and you can write notes and credits and right here is where you can click share to share it so people can see it and once you share it it will look like one of these for other people now that you know all of that stuff and how to use Scratch's front page and customize your things, I want to answer a question I get a lot. How do I become a Scratcher? First of all, why would you want to become a Scratcher? Being a Scratcher gives some more capabilities, such as using cloud variables. Here are the requirements. Have a Scratch account, have a verified email address, have at least two shared projects, have been active for a certain amount of time, at least two weeks, but usually one month, have been on Scratch for a certain amount of time, at least two weeks, but usually usually one month, be active on the website, such as sharing projects, and have comments and or forum posts. And that will give you the Scratcher status. So if I go to my profile, you can see right here, it says Scratcher. If you're not a Scratcher, it will say new Scratcher. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the super in-depth on how to use everything. If you want to see more of this series, let me know in the comments section down below and by tapping that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Anyway, this has been Owen, and I am out.